Hello and welcome back to the Mole Valley Maker channel. Today's video is my entry into the March edition of the YTCCC 2021 challenge. Uh, the challenge was set by uh, Bruce Jordan at Jordan Woodworks. Uh, channel link will be in the description. And he set the challenge of water. So, going to start off by turning some water drops and uh, for this I'm using some ash I start off by defining a tenon uh, what will be the base of the water drop And then I'm drilling a 10 millimeter hole uh, through the tenon, uh, about five millimeters uh, deep into the actual water drop itself. And here I am using a spindle gouge to start putting some shape into this water droplet. and I flipped it around in the chuck I'm using my favourite radius skew and then my next favourite 6mm skew just to... Yeah, I've definitely created an onion. And if you heard that, I've just uh, said I think I've created an onion. A little bit of sanding just to further refine the shape. Get rid of the ridges. And then I battle with parting it off, which isn't a particularly uh, easy thing because I haven't really left myself enough room to give myself clearance. But I get there in the end. And here's the first water drop finished. I don't show the turning of the other two, but it's very similar. And now we're moving on to the base of the piece. Um, this is an old blank I picked up at a um, wood turner's show. One of the local clubs had a had a show you remember going to shows when we were allowed to do that sort of thing um, and someone there was selling off a load of um, wood blanks this one had maple question mark written on it uh, I'm not so sure because of the way the ribbons it produced and the markings I think it might be possibly a Roco um, I'm not 100% certain either way and I did am and are looking at this blank because it's got some quite nice markings down in the bottom um, on one side but it was on the lathe I was trying to get this piece finished so in the end I decided I would stick with it uh, the question mark for me was because I intended to completely paint the base um, unfortunately the way I have a workshop and camera set up I didn't film any of the painting of the base um, 
it was something I'd not tried before. I was using a Montana granite finish, granite effect spray, which I think turned out really nicely. But being a cellulose, well, I don't know, cellulose, some sort of um, cellulose style thinner, it's uh, it was quite stinky. So I waited until it had a nice day and just did it outside without filming it. It did turn out very well, so I recommend um, giving it a go if you want to try a different finish on your bowls or any pieces for that matter. I'm trying to turn a tenon inside the bowl so I can reverse it round and enable me to just flatten the top off. But again, I didn't get any footage of that, so here we are, and we're now taking our water droplets and using the airbrush to add some blue to them. Uh, as you can also see I haven't got a clue about getting the image in the centre of the frame. So this is another bit I cut through quite quickly. There's one finished. Well, one has one coat. There's a second one with uh, one coat. There's a third one with one coat. And now I'm applying a second coat. And again, these are, uh, as been in a few of my videos recently, uh, it's a water based dye by a company called Bulgers. Um, it's quite inexpensive and seems to cover really well. And now that they've dried, I'm treating each of them to a light covering of Hampshire Sheen Blue Embellishing Wax, electric blue which I have to buff off by hand and that's it for footage of making but here's the actual item uh, three water droplets suspended on acrylic bubble rod each of them with a color change LED uh, to each LED I've soldered a resistor soldered it to a USB cable and this could be powered by any phone charger and as you watch this video you can see the LEDs cycle through colors uh, there's about seven maybe maybe ten colors each one cycles through they start off at the same color but then they gradually desynchronize as they go and you get this random color effect and there you can see also the granite effect on the uh, the base I covered it in black to start with and then applied the granite finish over the top. So that's my entry to the March Water Challenge for the YouTube Cross Channel Challenge 2021. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry it's a little bit of a short um, sort of disconnected video uh, but some of these bits are actually quite difficult to film so I'm just going to leave you a finished price. Thanks very much for watching hope you like it please feel free to subscribe and comment and hit the like button